Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Would You Put Your Cock In This? Uh, this week we're featuring a tub of uh, Market Basket brand whipped topping. We also have here some uh, Mediterranean hummus by Tribe. Uh, delicious but cold. <laughs> Uh, and last but not least, I have on the ground over here an uh, uh, oversized mason jar full of mouse traps. Now, uh, things are getting a little crazy. As we all know, YouTube's been broken lately, so I'm just doing what I can to try and uh, try and hang tough. So I, I think that you know a fucking retarded game like this, and possibly a thumbnail picture uh, of me with mouse traps clamped down all over my cock, uh, should get the engine started again. So here we go. Welcome back to a new video, and uh, I'm joined here by Nigel Cushington and this conveniently placed unironic subscribe plushy pillow you'll see here on your left. The beautiful part about that pillow is I got it unironically in a, in a time in my life when I used to try and emulate what other popular YouTubers did as a way of uh, growing my channel, and now as I've grown older and become extremely apathetic and realized how fucking stupid that is. I generally hate about 99% of all the gay bullshit that popular YouTubers do. But here I am with my fucking orange subscribe button fucking plushy pillow. So as long as Nigel's okay with it, we're going to keep uh we're going to keep this guy in the backdrop. Just to remind you, in case you forget to uh, subscribe to Leon Lush, it's not only going to be good for your mother and both of your sisters, uh, but it also helps lower your cholesterol and uh, helps with erection strength as well. So check that out. It's possible that that was just the tequila talking. Zoe Berger in the Baited Podcast. I'm sorry. I, didn't, I don't like saying it too loud. I've heard her fucking name so many times. It's made my ears bleed. And uh, I just wanted to touch real quick on a Twitter video I made yesterday. Uh, right before I went to work. And then as I went to work, it kind of started catching fire a little bit. I think for uh, various reasons. But one is that... Uh, I, I was able to kind of coincidentally uh, touch on a lot of the points that I think people were feeling but didn't maybe know how to express. And as we all know, uh, when something's very relatable, it's also retweetable. So I, it was just a knee-jerk reaction, uh, but certainly the retweets were a nice side effect, if you know what I'm saying. That's pretty much, that's pretty much my lifeblood at this point. So after it caught wind a little bit, uh, Keemstar, of course, saw it. Uh, and he was later on Tommy's uh, YouTube stream with the clown, and they were talking about stuff, and it came up, and he had uh, a couple of choice words to say about me, and I thought I would just uh, respond to those criticisms here. Uh, if we could just take a second to uh, uh, just watch that video real quickly, and as we, we're going to jump right in, if it's okay with Nigel. Nigel, go ahead and roll that clip for me. Here we go. Uh, Zoe Berger is a special guest, and oh my god, Colossal is crazy, had a nervous breakdown. This is the greatest episode we've ever recorded. You see, the funny part about that is, uh, is that the overwhelming response since this episode went live, uh, and just the general feeling is that it wasn't so much Colossal having a nervous breakdown as Zoe and Keemstar being practically brain dead, uh, and Colossal being the only person with any shred of dignity or reason on the entire show. I'm the greatest entertainer of all time, says Keemstar. I see the narrative just a little bit differently. What I see is a man who uses the word entertainment as a blanket excuse to forego any sort of moral obligation he has towards his audience or this community and allows himself to say whatever the fuck he pleases in order to gain one single shred of visibility because he knows it's going to be controversial. He calls it entertainment. I call it cheap tactics. Now, as far as Zoe the Burger... Is concerned, you know, it's easy to name call, call her a whore, call her a slut, whatever you want, but let's not forget that the only reason she is relevant is because she is excelling in a market that is created by our own sex addicted culture. 99.9% .9 of the people calling her names or mad at her for doing what she's doing are just as soon clicking over to their Pornhub browser tab and fapping one off to their favorite adult film star. Now, do I respect what she is doing? Not one single fucking bit. Do I think she should be commended on how well she's gamed YouTube? Do I think she's a good example for other females all over the world? Not a fucking chance. But let's not for a second point fingers when we're all in this together. She only exists because of all of us. 
So let me sum this up. To even suggest that Zoe Berger is somehow a beacon of light for women or progressing the feminist agenda because she was the first woman on beta. No, shut shut the fuck up. Her entire shtick is a cheap gimmick that preys on testosterone-fueled boys that gets her a couple of views and some dollars on the side. And in my opinion, she's building a castle made of sand. Keemstar is just being Keemstar. If you're even surprised at this point, then you're obviously delusional. As far as Tommy goes, yay hockey! And as far as the clown goes, I'm not dick sucking, but it's nice to see that he has some character and he does not stray from that, and you're the reason that podcast is enjoyable. Now, many of you that follow me on Twitter or watch my YouTube videos know that I don't take much very seriously. I find it uh, maddening to, to just get upset over stupid things, but uh, I did compose this tweet in such a way that it had a little bit of uh, bravado to it, like I was, I was somehow very invested in it, which I'm not at all. I really could care less. I just wanted a couple of points to come across, uh, because believe it or not, old Leon here, tomato face fucking cockbag degenerate piece of shit with a fake monkey that he plows on video has a bit of a moral compass a little bit of a uh, feeling of what he believes is right or wrong in his own in his own life subjectively and I, and I thought I'd voice my opinion on that now I'm not going to go any deeper into to what I said there I think it was pretty self-explanatory I do just want to make one note though on the castle made of sand comment I made about what Zoe Berger is doing. It, it just is a kind of a coincidence that since I made that tweet yesterday, uh, in the time that's lapsed since then, she has had her Instagram account banned and also uh, gotten a strike on YouTube and been uh, prohibited from streaming for however long that is until you take a fucking copyright class. So uh, looks like the waves are slowly creeping up on the shoreline and that castle of sand has uh, had a couple waves chiseled away at the foundation of that castle. Oh, boy. Anyways, Keemstar shortly thereafter was on uh, the stream with Tommy and Clown and, and had a couple uh, things to say. So if we could, one more time, Nigel, roll that motherfucking clip. Anyhow, I just woke up. All I'm saying is I see this fucking long video from Leon Kosh or whatever that Leon Cunt. Yeah, he was a dick to me, too. I'm sorry, Tommy. <laughs> and, dude, he's, like, he's laying on this, like, big, long, like, why is this thing so serious? Like, I understand that Clown gave him a shout-out and shit, but he is no, laying it on. He's the legend. Don't say any bad words about Leon Lush. No. Subscribe to Leon Lush. Dude, Clown, your <laughs> fucking nuts are bouncing off his chin. He is I just inhaling your fucking cock. It is if the most one ridiculous YouTuber thing. I can suck the dick of, it's Leon Lush. Subscribe go watch, go watch Leon's, go watch Leon's video Do on it. Twitter, dude. He t he's doing watch everything it, so it, serious. He's like, he's like, he's like, you use the excuse of entertainment. I just think you're a fucking manipulator. Blah blah blah. I think you're a cocksucker. So torn up about it, I really was. Go tweet that motherfucker right now. He's a cocksucker. This dude was inhaling the semen out of clowns unerected cock. He's not even fucking hard. Dude, Leon Kush is a fucking Jesus is right, Tommy. I'm saying it right now. He's gay for clown. Gay. He's sitting there right now on Twitter thinking, oh, if Clown could just creep into my butthole, ooh, it would be so great. If you could just spread those cheeks and give me a little lickety lick. That guy is gay for you, Clown. It's ridiculous. He was emotionally affected by this podcast I where he it. felt like you were I, I being totally attacked was. and I... he wanted to white knight come in and save you. <laughs> Leon Kush is a... I don't oh, want to we're going to talk her. about white knights now? How's Zoe? <laughs> <laughs> Like Anyways, I her, I call, I as you can see, Keem had a little fun talking some talking some shit about old Leon here about his sexual preferences, and I don't take lightly someone assuming that they know whether or not Leon likes a nice, prominent, erect member or the subtleties in the softness of the female genitalia. That's for me to decide, not for anybody else. Now, as far as caring too much. About this whole situation, you have misread me, my dear, dear friend. I could not give a shit if Zoe Berger fucking euthanizes puppies and hands out AIDS-riddled hypodermic needles to preschools in her free time. I have grown apathetic to the bullshit of this fucking disgusting world. I just use situations like these uh, as, you know, talking points, something to converse about to pass the time. Now, as far as my sexuality goes, you... 
You don't know me. You don't know shit. I have got... <laughs> I, can't, I can't hide this anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to finish this video, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a, my friend Alex narrate uh, the remainder of this because this was too hard for me to do myself. Um, I wrote this to try and... I don't know how to say this, so I'm going to let him... With a sound mind and a heavy heart, I speak to you today in order to finally relieve myself of the burden of secrecy I've carried on my back for too long. It is no surprise that I've claimed to have had a wife these past several months, as some of you have gotten to know me. But I can no longer live in the shadows of my own reality. Several months ago, after my first shout-out on Twitter from Colossal is Crazy, I immediately became a full-blown homosexual. Like a veil had been lifted, and I could see clearly for the first time. <laughs> I gathered my belongings, moved out of my then home, and boarded the next non-stop flight bound for England. <laughs> it's in these past several months that Oliver and my relationship has truly blossomed. It started as a strictly physical endeavour, but it has blossomed into something that truly transcends a harmonious union of spirits. Playing croquet in the courtyard, winning best dressed at the local cabaret shows, <laughs> and sampling exotic cheeses as we tour the countryside's finest wine cellars together. That's just a glimpse of what my life has become. Lol. I'm fucking gay, bro. <laughs> Listen, I want to shout out my friend I'm Alex for helping me out with that narration at the end. Do me a favor, go down to the description. There's a link to his channel at the top. Head over and smash that subscribe button. Also, if you could do me the... T t this mother... Just smash that mother fucking like button on this video. YouTube is broken. It is picking people off, killing motherfucking channels. We need 200,000 likes. Like and subscribe. Fuck.